Hi everyone, here again with some mobility stuff. Um, I'm gonna quickly walk you through a shoulder opening sequence. You can do this before you're about to do a workout or maybe if you're feeling stiff after working at the computer, um, do it while you're watching TV or something. Um, depending on how much time you wanna spend on it, I usually spend anywhere from like five to eight-ish minutes on it, um, just depending on um, how many times I want to run through the sequence. So I'm going to show you what that looks like now. So first thing you guys are going to do is you're going to be in a seated position. We're going to be sitting on our feet um, and keeping our chest upright. Um, go ahead and bring your hands overhead. You're going to grab one of your wrists. Okay, trying to keep that arm that's being held in a locked out position. We're gonna to lean to the opposite side of that arm, really using that other hand to stretch out our arm and keep it extended. You're gonna hold that for about five to 10 seconds, depending on how that feels for you. You're gonna come back up to center. You're gonna grab the other wrist and you're going to go to the other side. You're gonna hold it there. Once you come back out of it, we're gonna bring our arms down to a 90 degree angle on both sides. From here, what we're gonna do is just squeeze those shoulder blades together and really open up those shoulders, getting that external rotation. Okay, again, hold that for about, I would say this one about 10 to 15 seconds. Um, since we're not going overhead, it's a little easier to hold. After you do those three movements, you're going to first move in to the child's pose. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best to show you that with my camera. Um, but you guys are going to be in that same seated position, but this time we're going to come forward and you're going to lay all the way down. Try to shoot that head to the ground, okay? And really use that stretch to stretch out um, the top of your shoulders. Um, once you do that whole sequence, so you'll do that with a child's pose facing just four with hands right out in front of you. Next, you'll go through that sequence again. So this, this, this. Hopefully you can hold it a little longer as your shoulders start to warm up. And then you're going to move that child's pose out to opposite sides. So rather than your arms being straight out in front of you, you're gonna walk them over um, to the right and then walk them over to the left for the next one. Um, and then your other pose for that is going to be, um, I'm going to take a shirt or a towel or something. Um, some of you might not need any accessory at all and that's totally fine. Um, but you're gonna bring one arm over and one arm behind and you're going to grab whatever object you have and you're gonna to try to get, you're trying to keep the lower arm close to your body and that top arm up high, okay? The closer you can get your hands together, the better. And then you're gonna switch. All right, and again, one side might feel better than the other, so I can get closer with my right arm on top than my left arm. And that's okay, that's what we have this for. You might need it for one side, and might not need it for the other. Um, so really what that sequence would look like is again, you're gonna do the wrist stretch, both sides, come out into that 90 degree angle, go into a front child's pose. This again, go to the right. Then the wrists and the 90 degree again, go to the left. Um, wrists and 90 degree again, Grab your shirt and holding this position. That again, holding this position, okay? So you're going through this sequence quite a few times. So by the time you get to the last one, hopefully whatever stiffness you're feeling, if you're having a hard time extending this arm straight up um, or really holding those shoulder blades together, then hopefully by the time you've moved it through it a couple times that it starts to 
um, loosen up. Again, it's a really good one to do maybe after you work out or even before because it's a little more dynamic. So that's a good um, way to just warm up your shoulders a little bit. Um, but just because we're sitting a lot doesn't mean that our upper body is not feeling it. So make sure that before or after your workouts or just on any day where you feel like you've been in this position typing for a long time or working on whatever you're doing, um, just take some time to open those shoulders back up. All right, stay safe, Wolfpack, and thanks for joining.